Good morning, everybody, from Naples, Italy. We are in southern Italy for the first time. Yesterday, we took the train down here from Milan. If you're curious on how that went, go ahead and check us out on TikTok. Link will be in the description below. That being said, let's uh, get this day going and go explore. We are kind of getting a late start to the day here. It's almost midday, We're kind of just having a little bit of a lazy morning. But I figured I'd show you guys our Airbnb here in Naples uh, before we head out. So you come in, well I guess I should show the door. So we got the door, kind of like a little courtyard area out there. We have the kitchen here, a little bit messy, my apologies. Really nice fridge for an Airbnb. I mean, huge. Oh, which is nice. And then a little couch there, coming up here. Got the kitchen, and then bathrooms right over there. Come through this way. Got this living area. This couch is super comfortable here. I love it. And then it looks out onto the TV. Shout out Karen and Nate. Um, go up the stairs here. And we got the bedroom. Not super exciting, but pretty cool. So, yeah, nice little place to stay here uh, while we're in Naples. Not really sure what the plan is as far as the next week or so, but that being said, uh, today I think we're gonna head to a little town called Sorrento, which is um, kind of southeast here, um, and it's on the Amalfi Coast. Uh, it takes about an hour and a half to get there by train, so we're gonna have to get our, uh, our stuff together here head to the train station and then go. Um, but yeah, we're just here kind of exploring, taking it day by day. So not a, no concrete plans, but definitely want to see Pompeii at some point when we're here because it's Pompeii. So that being said, let's do it. Let's go out and uh, let's get it going. We're currently waiting for the bus here. You can see the bus stop here. Sometimes I don't have a lot of confidence in these bus stops, but uh, we're waiting for the bus and then we'll catch the metro line uh, all the way to Sorrento and it'll be about an hour and a half. So, we've got a little bit of a journey ahead of us. For a quick bus ride and a run to the train, we made it. I feel like we're like always late to trains now. But, uh, have about an hour and a half ride to Sorrento. Let's do it. Happy to be off that train. They were so crowded and kind of stinky, but we made it to Sorrento and now we're gonna walk into the center of the town and see what we can find. This town really reminds me of our time in Izmir and it feels super Mediterranean, even compared to Naples, honestly. to a super cool restaurant with this little balcony looking down. Kind of crazy, I don't want to hold the camera too much over there, but it's a huge drop off. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful views of the Amalfi Coast and uh, it's really great to be here. So we're going to get some lunch and then uh, we'll keep walking. fabulous lunch and now we are walking down to the water or gonna try to try attempting to use Apple Maps to get to the water so we'll keep you updated with that but look at these beautiful streets We made it down to this beautiful viewpoint looking over the Mediterranean and back at Naples. Um, let me get a better shot for you guys. Starting over there. This is pretty much the route that the train took from Naples, which is over there. I'm sure, I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not, but it takes it all the way through there. And then looking at that peak right there, that is Mount Vesuvius, which for you history people is the volcano that erupted and covered Pompeii and ash. So super cool. And, um, and then down along this way to the left is um, where most of the scenic photos are taken on the Amalfi Coast. But look down here to a bunch of restaurants and stuff. 
We made it down here to the beach area. Just a bunch of restaurants and stuff. And then some shops, I think. Just to be a little bit closer to the water, it's nice. Now we're at the bottom of the port here, where you can see, and then in front of us there is like a little, I believe for cruises, like a customs thing, I might be wrong on that. And then uh, all the beautiful cliffs there, we came from up there. It's more over that way, but from that direction, and it looks out over the coast, so. Uh, it's incredible, um, incredible architecture, and it's crazy to me that all this was built on these cliffs. It's, it's amazing, it's amazing. And the water is so clear, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> She's now been trying for uh, oh, oh, five minutes there. <laughs> got it. to get this, to get her jacket on. <laughs> How's the jacket situation there? On and good. Took her about ten minutes. We are down here on the main street in Sorrento. Sorrento, for my Italian viewers. I'm just kidding. You can see stretches all the way down. Just a bunch of shops and stuff. Um, just stuff to look at and bars and pubs and stuff. So we're just looking and then uh, we have to take the, the metro back to uh, Naples later. Uh, it took us about an hour and a half to get here. Um, but the price is good. So um, you can get a taxi, but it's like over 100 euros easily so I recommend taking the metro and uh, it's efficient. So right now we're back in Naples, um, took the train back and we're outside of one of the quote unquote best pizzerias there is uh, in Naples and for those of you that don't know Naples is famous for its pizza, it's where pizza is from. And we're outside of Sordillo but uh, you kind of just give your name and wait so I don't know how long the wait's going to be but we'll see. After about a 40 minute wait, we made it into the restaurant and uh, I'm super excited. I think I'm going to go with the classic margarita, but uh, we'll see if I change my mind. How is it? What kind did you get? Uh, Diabola. Diabola. We got the margarita. Let's eat. We are post sorbillos. Sorbillos? Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. Sorbillo. Yeah. Um, do we think the hype was worth it? What do you think? I thought it was. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, it was a long wait, um, but it was really good. It was authentic pizza, so we're happy. Uh, we're going to try and get some gelato and then uh, head back to the apartment. But overall, good experience. I recommend the wait. Good morning to you again from super busy Naples. Uh, today we're getting on a bus and then back on the train to head to Pompeii to go discover the archaeological ruins. Uh, it takes about an hour and uh, it's a beautiful day, so let's get after it. We have about eight minutes until our uh, bus gets here. And for those of you that don't know, one of the biggest differences in Italy from the north to the south is public transportation. Uh, Italians kind of have a stigma that in the north everything works properly, and then in the south everything runs delayed and kind of out of whack. So we'll see if we get on our bus on time, but I'm not hoping or I'm not expecting it. So uh, we'll see. And then we have a quick connection at the train station to get on the train to Pompeii. So. Uh, we'll see, it's going to be a tight one. So, of course, whenever I name a stereotype I was wrong, the bus is here and it's actually early, so I think we're going to be able to make our train. We made it on the train with time to spare, shocker. Um, <laughs> but we have about a 59 minute ride to Pompeii and then uh, we're going to go discover the archaeological park, so super excited. We made it to Pompeii after about a 30 minute train ride. And um, for those of you that want to travel to Naples, be super cautious of pickpockets, of course, as I'm flashing a camera in this area, uh, I, even though we're in Pompeii, but uh, one of the women on our train or subway or whatever you want to call it, 
here to Pompeii, got her phone snatched right out of her hand, the guy walked out, door closed just in time. So um, Naples especially, but a lot of cities like Rome and stuff, you really gotta watch, but watch the pickpockets in Naples, it's really, really bad here. So uh, be cautious, I mean, straight up, just had her phone in her hand, and then he walked out, snatched it, door closed, train left, done deal, and her phone was open. So just be super, super cautious. We made it in, and uh, it's really incredible to be here because as a kid I've read about this many times growing up so it's super cool to be here and it's just like that with anywhere you go with when you read it in a book and then you see it in person it's pretty awesome but we've got some cool ruins behind us and I'm sure it'll get better as we go deeper into the park or whatever but um, for those of you that don't know about Pompeii uh, Mount Vesuvius erupted um, I'm not gonna give a year until I find out later because I forget but um, essentially it ruined the whole city, but uh, because of the ash and stuff, a lot of it's preserved into these great Roman ruins, and it was an ancient Roman city, so super cool. And uh, also, if you want to skip the line, just buy the tickets online, uh, just Google it, and uh, you'll save some time. There's really no one here right now, but I'm sure during peak season, the line can get pretty gnarly, so uh, definitely buy tickets online. This is a lot different than Ephesus, and I know that Ephesus was like a city, but this literally feels like a city with different streets and stuff so right now you can see in front of us walking down one but it's just building after building almost just blew up my ankle but it's pretty awesome that it actually still feels like a city <laughs> a city I mean like literally a city like look we're like walking on one of the streets and there's little numbers for pretty much each house or whatever the building was it's freaking awesome uh, compared to some of the other ones the way the organization is set up though because there was more of this preserved than others but I just mean it's crazy it literally feels like you're walking through a Roman city so freaking awesome I don't think before coming to Pompeii I had any idea how big it really was. I mean, I think I understood it was a city, kind of, but these ruins go on forever. Um, so we're more in the center part of the city right now. We're gonna go check out some of the temples and stuff, but I mean, it just goes on and on. It's really incredible how big it is and how much of it's preserved. So we made it to the more or less center part of the city and look how big this is. It's crazy. Beautiful old buildings and everything with the columns and then back that way we're blocked by this mountain but Mount Vesuvius is over there so it's really really interesting to see and uh, so big I can't get over how big this is compared to other Ro uh, Roman ruin sites that we've been to. One of the only downsides to coming in the middle of the day is there's a lot of people here. So if you can try and come in the morning, I think it would maybe be a little bit better, but we were bad planners, so we came midday. But regardless, it's still incredible to see, but a um, ton of people in mid-afternoon, so if you can, I would try and make it in the morning. But anyway, still in the center part of the city, look at these beautiful ruins and columns behind me. And then that square is in front of us there. Um, but so amazing. The columns are so beautiful. That is gonna wrap up our time at Pompeii. We're gonna head to the exit, and then we are gonna get some gelato and some food, and then we'll take the train back to Naples. Um, overall, I liked Pompeii. However, I think Ephesus in Turkey was a little bit more exciting uh, in the sense of like more marble and buildings, while this was a lot of huge ruins um, in the sense of it was just more bricks um, and there were some cool sites but overall I would say Ephesus was a lot better um, in the sense of different buildings being preserved more with marble and columns while this was a lot of houses with bricks and stuff still come still recommend but um, I'm gonna give the edge to Ephesus to be honest with you